What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. The biggest news of 2019 concerns 2020. We have confirmed Crystron Needle Fiber. Now, you might be saying, John, sus, where's the source? You're always right, but where's the source? Team APS is connected now to Konami's press release information. What does that mean? That means they get the news early before you might see it on an article on YG.org or anywhere. So Team APS actually posted this up saying, hey, Needle Fiber is confirmed. And I actually pushed them for a little more information. So I have some reprint confirmations for you within this video as well from them because I got more of the press release than just this picture that's going around. So this is official. This is confirmed. And we knew Dual Overload was going to have confirmations on cards because vendors right now only have 20 12 days to decide, am I pre-ordering the set? Am I buying the set? So Konami has to put cards out there. It would be sick of them to not put any card for the March set and vendors to decide to pre-order. You can bet they're going to buy the heck out of it now. So Crystron Needle Fiber is now called Crystron Haclifrobrax. That's a weird name. I feel like Konami's just messing with us for how long we haven't had it. But the huge news doesn't stop there. We get the Predaplant Fusion Monster in time to mix with Shadol's for the competitive WCQ season with the Shadol Structure Deck. We also get what looks to be the Bujin Xyz Link, and we also get the Five-Headed Dragon Link. So more so than ever, we see a ton of Link Brains Pack cards crammed into this one set, and we get more specifics. 30 new link monsters that is a crazy amount that is insane that is mind-blowing the number actually there i hadn't read that yet i know Yu-Gi-Oh players in reading it's hard let's go through this dual overload kicks the door down on the last stretch of 2019 to 2020 dual eating season with 30 new link monsters as well as 26 other new cards just in time to shake things up for the biggest competitions of the year you're so in touch right now konami this is awesome showing with the ots pack showing with the set that you are in touch that you know what you're doing that somebody over there is paying attention to how things mix in and you know you have the fnl list in january you know you have the fnl list that's going to actually come up after this dual overloads lineup of link monsters includes the powerful monsters for any deck like a 5,000 attack we know this is the five-headed dragon link and, and the other ones i mentioned now let's get into some uh, of the reprint situation here Oh boy, you see the sign at mining bolded already, and I know that. Beyond the unprecedented arsenal of Link Monsters, you'll also find new cards for fans of the Yu-Gi-Oh! movies. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions. Clap? Maybe? Alternative? And Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time. New cards uh, for Paradox's Malefic Strategy and Aigami's Cubic Deck make their debut in Duel Overload. So Duelists who started using the Cubic Deck through Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions... Movie Pack Secret Edition will have plenty to look forward to. I know his voice actor's actually been working a lot with the uh, Konami YouTube, so this is kind of cool to mix it in that way too. In addition to the 56 total new cards, we get 44 reprints. This is where I'm starting to get hecking concerned about the set a little bit. These cards have been chosen to help duelists to bolster the existing decks or build new decks that they might be missing a critical piece of. For example, duelists interested in building Cybers decks like Marincess from Rising Rampage and Chaos Impact, Mathematics from Mystic Fighters or Adagnister and Ignition Exalt get a wild card sign at mining. The Mad Lads skipped ahead to Dark Neo Storm. I don't see a mention of Savage Strike here is my first sweating brow thing, but then I remember back to another March set that we're going to get into. Dual Overload has something for duelists of every experience level and fans of every Yu-Gi-Oh! series as well as cool surprises that we can't reveal quite yet. Don't miss out on this once-in-a-lifetime booster set. Once-in-a-lifetime is big words from Konami. Let's go ahead and go to a quick market watch view while we talk about some cards. I know there's going to be an immediate fallout, but do consider this is a 100-card set. Even if it's 44 reprint slots, you can bet Konami is going to look at cards like Needle Fiber and the Bujin Link and put a little piece of XC support here, a little O-line perhaps over there for the Needle Fiber. We don't necessarily need to go buy out cards right now, but guess what? The market's going to move anyway. Sign Up Mining is immediately going to tank you. Already are seeing lower listings. Let's see if uh, anybody else has got a hold of this press release yet. Uh, so Sign Up Mining... That Definitely going to tank, but remember, this is all the way, all the way in March. So people are still going to have to play through January and February. And if you're a Salomon great player, you're kind of stuck with your minings, aren't you? What is hecking concerning is no Savage Strike mentions, but I think to Kaiba Collection. 
I look back over there, and you remember that Ash Blossom was the last reveal, actually spreading extra hype and waves through the community at the very end. That was pretty cool of them, and I think Konami's looking at the best of their marketing from Kaiba Collection, the best that Dual Power did, and is mashing them together. Hopefully we see some Savage Strike love, because one of these two cards better end up in there. Sign Up Mining is not going to sell a set by itself as a reprint, but they may be confident enough in, in their imports. Needle Fiber is a huge one. The Bujin Link's another huge one. The only one that I think we're missing generically for meta players is the carrier link the union link so they may actually have faith that enough people want sign up mining between competitive and casual players that this is a pushing card to sell a set i don't think it is but it is highly in demand they're hitting the mark with the reprint and they're moving ahead the dark neo storm which means Everything in Dark Neo Storm is now up for grabs and reprints. Dengirsu's up for it. Mech Knight Crusadia Abramax, which is a Cybers, which they seem to be looking at, is a reprintable card. No Material, which is a hand trap that had hype before, reprintable card. They're gonna still have to piece this out. You gotta remember that. When we're looking at cards like Phantasme and Extravagance, they're gonna be looking ahead to Battles of Legend. They're gonna be looking ahead to the Megatons and realize... We still have some reprint sets to sell so not everything is going to end up here in dual overload but dual overload is very exciting it's very fresh and we are going to see them definitely press some important reprints in here the the question is do we get a mac daddy like phantasme on screen here do we get something really truly big and meaty like they've done in years past i have to imagine they will i can't imagine that they're gonna overlook it now with the Bujin Link announced, with Needle Fiber, whatever its name is now announced, you're going to see people go a little wild on cards like this. Don't partake. Take your time and wait. There's also going to be OTS packs leading up to the WCQ. Sometimes you miss out. Sometimes you pay a little more. But usually if you wait, Konami's been on the ball this year. Even if it's a little later, like we have, what, Fire Fist Dragon, a set later? When they miss something or purposely leave it out, they're using it to sell something later. I think in time for the WCQ, you will have most of the pieces you need reprinted konami wants to make their money the only question is is konami gonna make the move where battles of legend is after the wcq instead of before hopefully it's freaking after hopefully you're not trying to push a bunch of hype after the wcq and you give it to us the week up that would be awesome i'd like to continue that trend where people can get their meta decks a lot cheaper and plan for it uh, it, it's such a weird place to be in. What's going to get hyped with the Preda Plant link? Like we just mentioned in my previous video, the notifications are going to get squashed in all these videos. Please like the videos and also, you know, comment below to help their traction. I'm going to be live streaming at 7 Central, so I, I would truly appreciate that. Definitely going to be a weird time on the channel today. But I digress. It, it's going to be a weird place because... Like, Super Polymerization could get reprinted in the Shadol Structure Deck, or Konami could pull it out, as I mentioned in the previous video. Like, Konami's had a really good track record this year of continuing to keep true to the Structure Decks, but we already know they're going to be picking out Fairy Tail Snow, most likely, unless it changes on an FNL list. So, they could move Super Poly out of there to try to continue to make, you know, do... Which, there's so many dual sets. This is a dual set. Gosh dang it. I am actually losing my sight on uh, dual. It's it's so... Dual Devastator. Gosh dang it. I get why you guys are confused now. This is so crazy. But, but the news coming out today. Don't overreact. Make your own big brain decisions. Don't overspend. Kind of decide where you're going to go with this. What are you going to be chasing out of? like out of dual overload what are you going to be after how are you going to take your approach towards it i'm excited right now i'm fumbling through my words i'm freaking out pretty much over this news i rushed home you know so like when, when we're talking about this set, i understand as a duelist as a player as somebody who loves this game that this set just from the imports it's getting carried so when it comes to the reprints now 
kind of like make your own decisions still on when you're going to get rid of cards realize that battles of legends still has to come later in the year and if you're planning on attending the wcq hedge your bets decide where you're going to buy sell and trade thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you enjoy the breaking news in this fashion and thank you so much to team aps for putting this out there and actually you know giving me the second part of the screenshot it definitely helps the content to have all the information of the press release there so i truly do appreciate this kind of spread of love from yugi tubers who aren't necessarily a news source to one that is I, I love the networking so thank you guys so much for helping out thanks for watching everybody